Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about geometric isomers and the easy naming convention. Isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula but different structural or spatial arrangement of atoms. As such, the molecules can have different physical or chemical properties. Stereoisomers are a type of isomer in which the atoms are connected in the same way but arranged differently in space. Geometric isomers are often observed in stereoisomers with restricted rotation, such as ring structures or alkenes. We can differentiate them by the cis-trans configuration. While the cis-trans system is useful for simple alkenes, it can become unclear and arbitrary with more complex alkenes. The IUPAC naming convention is an unambiguous system of naming alkenes based on a set of priority rules, the kahn ingold prelog rules. It's called the easy system. In this approach, first, assign priorities to the two groups of each carbon of the double bond. The substituent with the higher atomic number has higher priority. In the left isomer, the carbon atom on the left side of the double bond is attached to a bromine atom and an ethyl group. Bromine has a higher atomic number than carbon, so bromine has a higher priority than the ethyl group. The carbon atom on the right side of the double bond is attached to a hydrogen atom and a chlorine atom. Chlorine has a higher priority than hydrogen because it has a higher atomic number. When comparing the positions of the high priority groups, we see that they are on opposite sides of the double bond. So this molecule is the E isomer. E stands for Engegen, which comes from German for opposite. Or as I like to think of it, E for enemies that dislike each other, so the high priority groups want to be as far from each other, on opposite sides. This isomer's name is E2-bromo-1-chloro-1-butene. Let's apply the easy system to the isomer on the right. The high priority groups are on the same side relative to the double bond. Therefore, this is the Z isomer. Z comes from the German word zusammen for together. Or as I like to think of it, the same side. This isomer's name is Z2-bromo-1-chloro-1-butene. The easy system easily handles more complex alkenes. In this molecule, there are three double bonds. The longest carbon chain that includes these has nine carbon atoms. Let's start on the left with the double bond between carbons 7 and 8. Carbon 8 is bonded to a methyl group and a hydrogen atom. The carbon atom in the methyl group has a greater atomic number than the hydrogen atom, so the methyl group has priority. On the other side of the double bond, carbon 7 is attached to a chlorine atom and the rest of the carbon backbone. Between chlorine and carbon, chlorine has the higher atomic number and therefore higher priority. For this double bond, the high priority groups are both on z same side, so this is the Z geometry. Next, let's look at the double bond between carbons 3 and 4. Carbon 4 is bonded to a carbon atom in the methyl group and another carbon atom in the carbon backbone. When comparing the atomic numbers of carbon and carbon, there's a tie. It's the same. So we continue on to find the first point of difference. We compare the atoms that are bonded to those carbon atoms. In the methyl carbon, it is attached to hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. In the other group, the carbon atom is attached to fluorine, carbon, and hydrogen. With these shown in decreasing atomic number, we see the first point of difference between the fluorine and hydrogen. Fluorine has a higher atomic number than hydrogen, so this group wins priority over the methyl group. On the other side of the double bond at carbon 3, there is a carbon in a methyl group and a carbon of another alkene. Again, there's a tie between carbon and carbon, so we look further at the atoms bonded to those carbon atoms. In the methyl group, the carbon is attached to hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. In the other group, the carbon is attached to a hydrogen and also double bonded to another carbon. In the context of determining priority, we imagine that the double bond translates into the carbon being bonded to two carbons and one hydrogen. Now we see that the carbon has a higher atomic number than the hydrogen, so the terminal alkene has priority. Therefore, the high priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, so this is the E geometry. Finally, let's look at the double bond between carbons 1 and 2. This terminal alkene is not stereogenic. You can't assign it as E or Z because it has two hydrogen atoms bonded to carbon 1. Remember that if there are identical substituents on one or both of the double bonded carbon atoms, the alkene cannot be labeled with E or Z. Putting all this information together, this molecule is 3E7Z7Chloro5Fluoro34Dimethyl137Nonotriene. When there are multiple EZ assignments in a molecule, these numbers specify the location of the geometries, followed by the E or Z assignment. Each assignment is separated by a comma. Remember to enclose the EZ notation within parentheses and to separate it from the rest of the name with a hyphen.
As seen with this molecule, the EZ convention of naming alkenes is robust. It provides an unambiguous strategy for differentiating geometric isomers. Thanks for watching Kamdoodle Shorts.